everyone, this is a video about my card system. Um, I mentioned it a few months ago in one of my setup videos and people have asked me to record a video to show you how I set it up. So this is the one I use for at home. What you need to do first of all is you need a file box like this one, some um, note, note cards, um, you need a number of um, dividers and you label these based on the 43 folders method so um, you have one for each um, month of the year and then one for each day of the month and I just labelled these using a um, label maker so this is what you need plus some post some uh, note cards um, and I also use um, post-it notes um, to collect some of my tasks so what you need to do first of all is collect all of your tasks together now they might be one-off or recurring items so here are some examples of some um, one-off tasks um, that I had collected when I was using this system more fully um, what I would do is um, capture them on post-it notes. I had a little wad of post-it notes at the beginning of my um, Firefax and if they were kind of one-off tasks I would um, just write them on a post-it note and stick them on a record card. Then as um, other tasks came up I realised that there were some that I needed to do regularly so I would write the frequency across the top here and the task itself on the card. So um, here that's another one off, um, that was something I needed to do weekly, another weekly task, something I wanted to do fortnightly, weekly, so on. Um, here are ones that I wanted to do every month, like um, back up my laptop every four days. So I would just, I collected um, all my paperwork together and put it all in a big shoebox and then turned all of those things into tasks and if they were regular tasks I wrote them straight on the card and if they were one-off tasks I would put them on a post-it note and then stick them on the card. The other sorts of things that I have in here I'm just going to um, quickly rifle through um, is annual um, car, um, tasks. So. Um, here's a good example, one of my friend's birthdays, her birthday's on the 14th of October, so I put in the date, 7th of October, because we're in the UK, that's the way around we write it. Um, a week before, I try and put a reminder in to post someone's birthday card, so I went through all of my friends and family and wrote cards out for each of those annually. So that's what we need to do, is collect all your cards together. I also have some examples of um, at Christmas time. I have these. I have these pink cards, and um, get an example here. Um, things running up to Christmas. So, kind of eight weeks before Christmas, I go out and buy some more Christmas cards or Christmas wrapping paper if necessary. Um, um, what else? Um, um, six weeks to go, start buying presents. Um, four weeks to go, um, get food ordered. Um, nine weeks to go, plan my presents and my budget. So this is essentially one big set of project cards that I also used to put into the system. So I've kept hold of them. At the moment I just have them in my planner. Um, and then I've also got a whole bunch of other cards that were um, part of projects that I was working on so um, for example I had um, a dress that I was making so here are all different tasks to do with that project move the zip on the dress slip stitch the lining to the dress etc etc so I put all my projects in here and I marked them with these little sticky flags um, so I've kept hold of these so that I can come back to them if I need to anyway collect all your task cards together. The next thing you need to do is put them into your um, card system. So here's my stack of tasks. Um, now the first thing you do is put your 
um, your monthly cards in. So we are in July, so we'll have July at the front. Um, put those in. After the tab of the month we're in, we put all the um, daily cards. So if we were at the beginning of July, this is what it would look like. And um, I would um, limit the number of tasks that I have on any one day because um, I work full time, I don't have time to do lots in the evenings. So I try to just have three or four things that I'm doing each evening. So let's just assume the 1st of July is a Monday, so this is Monday, I would put it in there. Um, I want to pay Elaine on a weekly basis, so I can just put that in as the next task. Now this has got the 7th of October, so this is an October task. I would flip to um, October in my um, system and put that in there. Um, every week I want to do a weekly review, so let's put that in the next one. Every four days I want to do this, let's put it in the next one. Let's say I've just backed up my laptop. I'm not going to do that till next month. So I would flip forward till August and put that in there. So you kind of get the idea. You file your tasks as you want to do them and you will end up with, you know, one or two tasks between e between each day. Um, what you will also get is then as you get to August, you'll have perhaps, you know, a little stash of cards of things that you decided you didn't want to do till August. Um, and effectively what you do is once you get to the August tab, you take that little wadge out and you figure out when in the month you're going to do them. So as I go through on a daily basis, um, get to July, once I've found out July's tasks, I put that to the back. And then on the first of the month, I take that card out, say, oh, today uh, I need to pay Donna. So you can then decide, are you going to write that in your planner um, or do you want to file it in some other way to remind you to do that task? Initially I just used to leave the tasks that I needed to do at the front and work my way through them. Um, once I've done that task I don't need to do it again so um, in that instance once I've done it I would just take the post-it note off, throw that away and put this um, at the back ready for use again what do I do with this once I've finished with it? Well, because um, I'm not going to need um, a first of the month again in July, um, I would flip forward to August behind the stack of cards that I need to do in August and I'd put number one there. On the second day of the month I'd take that card out, I'd make sure I pay a lane and I think once I've done that I need to refile it so let's try and I need to do that weekly so the next time I would do that would be the 9th file it away in there, take this um, second of the month and file it behind, behind the first for next month and so on and so forth. And once you have done all of the tasks, you've got to the end of July and say they've all been refiled, you then find your stash of cards for August, you reach August, you say right, when am I going to back up my laptop? And then you would file them on the relevant days. Hopefully that all makes sense. Um, so that's kind of what your card system ends up um, looking like. Um, let me see, is there anything else that um, I wanted to say? So when I first started using this, you can see I, um, I used to um, hole punch the cards. Um, and that was so that I could keep them in this little Filofax Flex. So I would just store my cards for that day in my Filofax Flex. Um, and so I've got quite a few here, so let's stick them in. I'd say, right, um, today I am going to fold and put the washing away. Once I've done that, I'd move it forward. I'd just leave it on the side like this. Next thing I want to do is my accounts. I would fold it forward. The next thing I wanted to do was to um, clip my dog's claws, move it forward. Um, if I wanted to kind of carry it around with me, I might just kind of clip, put a clip on those tasks uh, and keep them kind of clipped together. I would know I've done them. At the end of the day, I would open my Filofax Flex, take them out and refile these in the system um, when I next wanted to do that particular task. So 
kind of that was what how I used to use it with my flex. Um, if I had a, par a pile up of more than three or four tasks for the day, I would kind of prioritise them. Um, and at this, as I say, at the end of the day, I would refile them. Any new tasks that came up during the day, you can either keep a little stash of kind of blank cards with you or write them on a post-it note and then kind of file them and write them up at the end of the day, kind of whatever makes most sense to you. So my advice would be to think about what tasks do you want to do um, weekly, monthly and annually, file them in your card system, check your card system every evening. If there are things where you've got deadlines, um, like your tax return, I tend to put my card, my tax returns are due at the end of January. I would mark up a card saying 1st January, start working on tax returns um, to make sure that you've got plenty of time to work on a particular task. I might also put an, um, a reminder in of a deadline and have it in another card that has the deadline on it, maybe um, a few days ahead. Um, I use this um, system less frequently than I used to um, because I don't have all my weekly um, and monthly tasks in the card system anymore. I just write them in this planner. So, on. this is today's um, planning spread. Um, let's say I'm doing my YouTube video. If I want to do my YouTube video weekly, um, what I would do is at the end of this evening, if I've ticked this off, I would find a space next week um, where I've got kind of a bit of space, um, for example, um, there, and I would just write it in. So I kind of manage, because I've got so many weeks available, um, you can see I kind of plan ahead. So I last backed up my laptop on the 17th of July. That evening when I ticked off that I had done it, I went forward to um, the 17th of August and wrote in backup laptop. So that's how I use my kind of weekly and monthly tasks now. The main thing that I have in my um, card system for at home are things like a card like this that says kind of what I need to do for my car servicing and MOT or um, posting kind of people's birthday cards or let's see what else have I got in here um, I've got some Tesco vouchers that are going to expire so they're filed in January um, kind of um, filing um, papers away and um, that kind of thing so that's kind of what I keep in here now you can see this is all very dog-eared because I've been using it for ages the one thing that I do do because this has only got six tabs in a row it'd be really nice if it had seven and then you could have kind of days of the week but I just put little um, these little post-it flags on the dates that are weekends so this Saturday and Sunday are the 30th and 31st so I just have these little blue flags on so that I know um, when I've got kind of weekends coming up because I have more time to do things so um, that helps me file and you can see if I take out what I've got um, left for the remainder of July when I get to August um, it's actually filed in the wrong place when I get to August what I'll do is say right on the 1st of the um, August I need to book my dog's jabs so I will file that under the 1st um, on the 4th I want to start planning our wedding anniversary so I will file that under the 4th um, um, on the 28th I want to post um, someone's anniversary card so I will flick forward Ooh. 28th is missing. Oh, it's because I've, I've got it for this month. I would I would put it in under the 28th and so on and so forth. So most of these now are kind of dated. Um, they are all or some things that I do every three months. So I would just, for this one it says do it every three months, update my account spreadsheet. I would just find a day that looks empty and I would just pop it in there and do it. So that's how I'm using the um, system now. Um, 
I will show I, I will show you um, how I do my nighttime routine in this planner as a future video, um, and you can see how I manage kind of recurring weekly, monthly tasks a bit more clearly than my kind of quick explanation. I hope that all makes sort of sense. Um, other people use a system like this, but using 43 folders instead of 43 little um, file card um, dividers. So I will link to some of their videos below as well. If you have any questions, um, just comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks. Bye.